I want to talk to you today about defensible tape remediation and really two key points about tape remediation. The technology we want to use with, with tape remediation and the defensible process to that. Let's start out with the technology. So the technology is really, is really twofold. It's all about gaining direct access um, to the tapes. Using the index engines appliance, we have the ability to direct access from, from, from the tape out to files without the need for, rest, for restoration. We can, we can access tapes Via, that, are, that have been backed up using TSM, Backup Exec, um, Net Backup, ArcServe, um, HP Data Protect, Commvault, Legato, and <clears throat> um, and any and any Windows backups using uh, using the Windows uh, utility servers. So again, that's direct access using the index engine appliance without the need for back for restoration policy. The second point is about the amount of data in, in a typical remediation. Typically, we've got customers with thousands of tapes, where in, in fact, 98% of the data on those tapes are, are duplicate data from backups from, from monthlies and weekly backups. So right away, 98% of the total data that you've got on tape is redundant and doesn't need to be maintained. Be maintained. Of that 1% or 2%, there's only a small percentage of that that legal is going to, be re going to um, require to be, um, to be held and maintained long term. So a huge reduction in the total amount of data that you have, the actual amount of data that you need to keep before being able to remediate those tapes deleting that and eliminating that liability, that legal liability risk. The second point is all about the playbook, that defensible process that we're going to be able to use to be able to remediate those tapes. The playbook itself is very, very simple. It's really a six-step process. So let me, let's go over those six steps in, in, in a high, at a high level. The first step, and that begins your chain of custody process, is the receipt of the tapes, or an inventory of the tapes. So you're going to send out, get those tapes from storage, you're going to receive those tapes and begin your chain of, your chain of custody process. The second step is the, cat, is the uh, catalog process. At the catalog process, we're going to read the tapes, um, read the tapes and get all the backup header information off the tapes, access the tapes so that that information can be used to introduce the third step. The third step is the catalog culling operation. This is the step where we're going to take out, weed out any tapes that may be blank, they may, tapes that may not uh, be able to be read, that are, have media errors, and, and any tapes that may be based upon the information obtained at the catalog time, may be beyond the scope of the tape remediation uh, parameter set forth by legal. The third step, once you've got the, the, the tapes culled down to the set you want to uh, process is going is going to be you're going to set up a tape remediation policy. That policy defined by legal is going to be set up in the index engine server as a query, and that policy will be automatically applied during the f the fifth uh, phase of the process, the indexing phase. On the indexing phase, we're going to index the tapes as well as collect the actual data that's responsive to the remediation policy. So it's really a two-step uh, two step, step. It's indexing and automatic collection to the archive of the, of the data that meets the remediation policy set forth by legal. Once the data has been remediated off of the data that's um, responsive is remediated off of tape into the collection, there comes the last step and that's the destruction policy, the destruction phase, where the tapes can either be, be destroyed or recycled for, for, for prior use. So as you can see, it's a very simple six-step operation. Get the tapes, start your chain of custody process,
catalog the tapes, determine which tapes need to be processed at the culling phase, set up a remediation policy defined by legal, index the tapes, collect the, collect the data that's responsive to that policy to your collection and archive, and at that point in time, you can destroy the tapes, completing your chain of custody process, a six-step operation. 